80 million are Muslims. We have many Muslim magazines for dawa purposes, etc. What is the quantity that they print in India? How much? 4,000, 5,000, 8,000. Number one English dawa magazine, Islamic voice, 15,000. I was in America a few years back. Before this trip, I was there. I did a survey. The maximum number of print, any English magazine, Dawa magazine, is by Isna, the message, 50,000. Do you know there is a small cult in Christianity called as Jehovah's Witnesses? Outcast, they are the mainstream Christian. They print a magazine by the name of Watchtower. Do you know how much do they print? Monthly, how much do they print? Can anyone guess? We maximum in USA 50,000. How much do they print? Any guesses? You won't lose any money. Any guesses? How much? Huh? One million! Direct one million. Any other guesses? 50,000. Five lakh. Five million. Five million. One lakh. Hundred thousand. You know how much the print? 20.83 million. Leave aside be Muslim, we can't print, we can't even think. Leave aside printing, we can't even think. The Christian, a small outcast group known as Jehovah's Witnesses, they print two magazines out of one is Watchtower, which they print semi-monthly, not monthly, twice a month. Each time they print is 20.83 million, more than 20 million in 130 languages. They print every fortnight, twice a month they print. Every time they print is 20.83 million, means every month they print more than 41 million in 130 languages. The second magazine is Awake. They print 16 million twice a month, means more than 32 million. Four color job. They give free. We Muslims leave aside printing, we can't even think. So you don't have to pay any money to guess. Maximum was 5 million. They print 41 million every month. We can't even think. And they distribute free. Sometimes they keep a nominal price. In India, two rupees, 16 halala. What is 16 halala? Name say, if you want, they'll give you as many copies as you want free. In 130 languages, Watchtower. Awake in 80 languages. This is how they propagate. And one of the media is giving lectures, giving talks. We had a talk, Islam Research Foundation, where I come from in Bombay. I had a talk in Bombay, in Azad Maidan. And it was, a, it was a good, big talk compared to the population. Bombay has a big population, but getting people in Bombay is very difficult. If you get 200 people for an Islamic talk in English, it is great success. That means they have done a great job, because Bombay is a busy city. People don't have time to listen. We read a talk. The press said 200,000 people came, but we know it was 20,000 people. The press exaggerated. We know we were the organizer. I gave a talk on similarities between Hinduism and Islam. 20,000 people came. It was done professionally. We had Jimmy Jibs, big one, not the small one, big Jimmy Jib. We had nine cameras in a good way, professional way. Many Muslims said, ah, they might have spent a lot of money. Now, that's lakh to kharcha ki. Nine or ten lakhs, at least one million rupees they might have spent. Israf. They may have spent at least 10 lakhs. It is 80,000 dirhams. At least 20,000 dollars they have spent. Israf. They don't know what we actually spent. What we actually spent was about 28 to 30 lakhs. It is three times more than the estimate. We spent 60,000 dollars, about 250,000 dirhams. You know why I'm telling this? Immediately two weeks after that, Benny Hinn. Who has heard of Benny Hinn? He's an American Christian speaker. 
He's an American preacher. How many people have heard of Benny Hinn? Raise your hand. Benny Hinn. Hardly 40, 30 people may have raised hand. In an audience of about eight to 10,000 people here, more than 8,000 people, only 20, 30 hands I can see who have heard of Benny Hinn. Unknown. Very popular person. Even I did not know Benny Hinn till he came to Bombay. He comes to Bombay and six weeks after our talk, he has three lectures on Friday, Saturday and Sunday for three hours each. Three hours each. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know how much he spends? People are saying, oh, Dr. Zakir, like $20,000 he spent. Actually, we spent $60,000. If they come to know, they will blame me more. It's rough. You know how much he spent? How much? Now he lost silent. He spent $5 million. Only for nine hours, $5 million in the city of Bombay. What a budget they have. $5 million. The press said that more than 2 million people came, but actually less than 100,000 people came. Even getting 100,000 people in Bombay, out of which more than 50% were non-Christians. I went to attend that program. They had these Jimmy Jibs. They had Jimmy Jibs flown from America. Nine American people came two weeks to one month in advance to prepare for the talk. One month staying in a five-star hotel. A white American. He comes three days in advance to check the system. They had 32 screens. You know this screen? That bigger screen than this, 32. We had 500 volunteers. We are proud. 500 volunteers. They had 7,000 volunteers. Christian, not even 3%. Of the Indian population, they're not even three percent. Five million dollars they spent more than twenty crore rupees. More than two hundred million rupees they spent. Imagine they flew over the crew. They're only for one program, three hours, three days, and he goes back. If you know the budgets of these Christian missionary organizations, on average, it is more than a million dollars a day. Jimmy Swagat, who debated with Sheikh Ahmed Didat, he required more than $400 million annually to keep his head above water. More than $1 million a day is the budget. We are nothing. I don't know for any Islamic Dawah organization in the world which even has 10% of that budget. Any Dawah organization, I have traveled different parts of the world. But the professionalism that they have, these Christian missionaries, they are trained. They are trained in giving talks. We hardly know of any Islamic Dawah organization who trains people in public speaking. Today, scientific research tells us that if a person gives a talk on the stage in public, the matter he speaks carries only 7% weightage. Only 7%. 93% is presentation skills. How does he modulate his voice, his eye-to-eye -eye contact, his gestures? The reason I don't have a podium is why, not that I have a very good physique, is because I want to have my body language, even my body speaking. We in Islamic Research Foundation Bombay, we train professionally Muslims how to convey the message of Islam. We train not only Indians, we even train foreigners. We have got Americans who have come to organization. We have got Britishers, people from Singapore, from UAE, from Malaysia, from Saudi Arabia. Scholars who have passed from Madhya University, we train them, we specialize in the field of how to convey the message of Islam. How many Muslim organizations we have? Imagine, how can I die? How can I go in the battlefield without my weapon? If the microphone system is not good, how can I fight? This is my weapon. But when Muslim organizations call me throughout the world, they keep me in a five-star hotel. But the sound system is useless. When I accept an invitation, I tell them the sound system should be good. I will sleep on the floor, no problem. I don't require a five-star hotel. I'm a die. I can sleep on the floor. But give me a good sound system. It doesn't cost much. But give a professional good sound system. To hire doesn't cost much. It is much less. A small percentage of paying the bill for a five-star hotel. They keep me in a five-star hotel but they don't realize the importance of the sound system. What we Muslims should do, we should train ourselves in the media to specialize in the field 
of public speaking is the speciality. Print media is the different speciality. Audio media is the different speciality. Video media is the different speciality. We have to be specialized. And today, we have radio broadcast stations. How many Muslims are doing their job? How many? We have the computer, we have the internet. When the internet started, there was more information against Islam than for Islam on the internet. Now, Alhamdulillah, there are some Muslims that have also got into the field. But the Christians are ahead of us. The moment we give a reply, they give the counter reply. On the internet. And the sites are such, I don't want to name them, I don't want to make them popular. The sites are such, you will think it is an Islamic site. You will go to it. It is a snake in your sleeves. The magazine that they print, they have organizations in India, Darul Nijat, Home of Salvation. Arabic name. Who is the president? Sultan. Sultan who? Sultan Paul. <laughs> Nidai Umid, call for hope. It's a Christian organization. So please don't go on names. Same on the internet you go. I don't want to give the names of this site, otherwise everyone will go. And many will get misguided. They give such information which a normal Muslim, even he will not be able to reply. They pick up verses of the Quran and they attack. 